all and welcome to another Captain Entertainment Book Review. It's Art here with a book review for Death on Tap by L.A. Alexander, Sloan Krauss number one. It was my blue prompt for March Mystery Madness 2019 and here's how we're going to handle this one. It's going to have pros, it's going to have cons. We're going to go down the list and we're going to go through this. But of course you're not going to receive a spoiler because uh, I do spoiler free book reviews, I promise. Everything is all good in this hood. Okay, first off, the pros. I love L.A. Alexander's writing. I um, think her characters are vibrant and excellent and amazing and just uh, down out, outright believable. They feel more human because they are flawed. And yes, I understand that that is the essence of writing. I get that. I totally understand that. Amen. Yada yada. Blah blah. You get what I'm saying. And her mystery is a solid mystery. When it finally happens. Now, the flaws in the book are this. Um, it took... 12 or 13 chapters, I can't exactly remember, for there to finally be a dead body. It's called Death on Tap. I want the dead body sooner rather than later. I, granted, I'm reading a cozy mystery. I understand that. It's about the characters. But damn it, I want the body. Um, another flaw is... I don't really need all the beer exposition. Uh, there's too much beer exposition. And what I mean by that is she goes through different ales and what it takes to ferment them and different styles of hops. I don't need all that. Like, if I wanted to know about beer, I'd already know about beer. She doesn't need to show me her expertise about beer. It's nice to have a little of that sprinkled in. My problem was there was too much of that sprinkled in. Um, with the book. Now, you're saying with those two major cons, how can you like the book? It's because her characters are so vibrant, they're so alive, they're so ready, and they're so believable they feel human. The town of Leavenworth, I want to... Yeah, I think it was Leavenworth, because I'm like, ooh, that's a bad name for a town. That's the name of a prison. I do believe it was Leavenworth. Uh, I can actually check on my Kindle here. But I do believe... The town of Leavenworth is a small, quaint town outside on the Pacific Northwest, kind of outside of Seattle, if if she's to be believed, and yes, it is Leavenworth. Um, but so it's named after a prison, or at least the way I pronounce it, it's L E L E A V E N W O R T H. So if that's not Leavenworth, it may be Leavenworth, but still it's like I would have named it something else. But even with that said, you get the small town nosiness in the quaintness of most cozy mysteries. You get her eloquent, vibrant writing. And you get a protagonist that is both strong and vulnerable at the same time. Fancy that like most humans. Because there are times when we're very strong and independent and there are times that each of us is very um, vulnerable in our lives. So all that really and truly does happen. So I liked certain aspects that even 
she was friendly with most everybody in the town, even if she didn't know everybody in, in the town. And I liked how the town was welcoming to the new member of the town that was uh, introduced in the book. It is going to be series. It's book number two, The Pint of No Return, is already out. And I will be moving on to it. It was a nice, quaint uh, little mystery, and it was a great book to read for March Mystery Madness because it just kept me rolling. Which isn't hard to do because I'm in a chair. I mean, come on. Uh, but still, it, it just kept me wanting to read. I would read when I was watching something slow on TV. I read a bunch at work. Uh, when we had slow times at work. Uh, because I choose to read instead of socialize with people half my age. Um, it is just, it was a total, complete joy to read. However, I couldn't completely look past those flaws. So on my own scale, it's a read it, love it, own it, own it if you want to own the series. On the Goodreads scale for me, it's a four-star solid read. If if all the cozy writers could just fix my one problem with the book, I would truly, truly appreciate it, and I would be eternally grateful if we can get to either the crime, whether it be a theft or a murder or a robbery. I don't care what it is. If we can get moving to the crime because if you call a book death on tap damn it i want to see the death and i want to see it closer to a quarter of the way through the book i'll give you three or four chapters not 12. i think that's fair but let me know what you think thought about the book in the comments down below i didn't enjoy it i do plan on reading the pint of no return matter of fact i'm gonna get it on this bad boy right here so i got this bad boy right here uh because i'm gonna be getting it on this bad boy so i can continue on with the series because l.a alexander's writing is light and fluffy it i shouldn't say fluffy it is easily digestible it is as close to spoken language as you can possibly get. I find that with Christian Davis and Ellie Alexander and Craig Johnson and Michael Connolly with the Bosch Ballard series or the Bosch series now that's turned into the Bosch Ballard series, uh, they're good at mastering natural speech. People like John Scalzi and Jeffrey Deaver are getting better, but those the previous ones I mentioned are, to me, still the best and still number one in that respect. So, without further ado, keep enjoying March Mystery Madness. I'll see you again soon. Or, I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell because you know in March I'm posting videos as often as I deem it necessary, which is more than the schedule. Now this week, of course, only had two videos, but next week may have more. You never know. It just depends on what wild hair crawl up in me that week. Uh, because, And it depends on if I feel I have something to say about a certain topic. That's why I enjoy calling this caffeinated entertainment and not uh, caffe caffeinated books or anything like that. Because I can do books, which are my passion and my love. But I can also do video games, which are my passion and my love. And I can also do wrestling, which is my passion and my love. And I can also do TV shows because I watch a lot of TV and I enjoy that as well. So it gives me a, it gives me a, a broad angle here. Um, so without further ado... Happy reading, everybody. Enjoy March Mystery Madness. I'll see you again soon. And peace.
Oh, 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 oh,